Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at what prepositions are in French and how to use them. Prepositions generally locate something in time or in space, um, and so they help to make the sentence a little bit more complete, a little bit more detailed, um, and very specific and accurate. So um, the nice thing about prepositions are that they generally go in the same place uh, in French as in English. So if I were to say the cat is in the box, the word in being the preposition, it literally is just le chat est dans la boîte, and um, the same is the same order. So it's quite manageable, quite like quite nice. Um, the tricky thing with prepositions is that this is usually where we stumble um, when we're translating. Uh, it's just the, there's a fluidity, there's a fluent kind of nature to the language where if 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 we don't understand the exact expression, then the preposition probably is not going to translate quite nicely. Um, let me just to show you another difference of how a preposition is, is a big deal is again, let's say I'm playing baseball and, and they're like, go hit the ball. Okay, I'm going to hit the ball. Um, but then let's say there's somebody over there and they say, oh, go hit on that guy. Well, now it's like a totally different thing than go hitting the guy from hitting on the guy. One is very violent. One is maybe more romantic. So just that one little word, that one little preposition, the on, totally changes the meaning. Um, so... Some prepositions can be really challenging too for us because um, we have one thought in English that is translated through one preposition, and then if we have the same thought, um, or slightly, sorry, slightly different thought, but then it's using a different preposition. So an example would be the word in. So the word dans is a very physical in. Um, and so I could say again, the cat is in the box, le chat est dans la boîte, that, that works. But if I want to say, I am in Paris, typically we then with cities, we have the word a, which to us looks like the word to. So it kind of looks a little bit confusing. Um, but if I want to say I'm in Paris, je suis à Paris. Um, and if I were to say je suis dans Paris, that's, uh, that's just don't say it, je suis à Paris. Um, so uh, again, the nice thing is that most of our prepositions just follow the same order. Uh, and on the bright side, you don't actually have to make them match. So let's say it's a girl and you're saying, you're saying she's in the house or it's a boy who's in the house. There's nothing you have to do with the word prep, with the preposition dans. It's just elle est dans or il est dans and then the rest of your sentence. So... There we are. That's a brief overview for propositions. I hope that helps. Thanks.